Welcome to NRL Previews for Australia's greatest rivalry. It's the Ampol State of Origin as the 2023 Game 2 heads to Suncorp Stadium. I'm Renee Gartner and I'm joined by former New South Wales Blues representative Josh Mansour. Josh, do you think you can be unbiased for this one? Nope. Nope? nope. <laughs> okay, we'll you see. said it. All right. <laughs> we'll see how we go. I'll try to take off my hat. Okay, well played. All right, let's look at the two squads now. Billy Slater has said that the atmosphere at Suncorp Stadium, he said he's been to Super Bowl, he's obviously played at Suncorp, coached at Suncorp. He reckons it's better atmosphere there than anywhere else in the world. Well, the Super Bowl is one place I definitely want to go to. And <laughs> I haven't experienced it myself, but I have played at Suncorp Stadium at a packed crowd and uh, it's pretty hostile. And uh, for Queenslander, uh, I'm sure they get a lot of uh, you know energy from the crowd. It's pretty much another play on the field, but uh, yeah, for a New South Welshman, it's uh, pretty intimidating, I'm not going to lie. All right, well, let's uh, kick off with the side. Um, Billy Slater's faced a lot of injuries coming into this one. Uh, we've got Coates coming in for Cobbo. Mm. Um, it's pretty much a swap for a, a gun for a gun. It's pretty much, yeah, like, <laughs> like for like, yeah. right? So, yeah, obviously, Xavier's played a couple of games for the Queenslanders, and uh, he's had an amazing time when he's played. So he's got a couple of good tries, a great finisher, one of the best finishers I've seen just there in front of your screen. So for me, uh, yeah, I don't feel like they go um, any weaker. Uh, I feel like they're definitely a strong side, and they've got Nanai coming in as well, mm -hmm. who, um, yeah, he hasn't been as effective this year as he was last year, but... Uh, put him in a Queenslander side like he's just going to flourish in my opinion. Yeah, well that covers off our forwards, I mean, because they don't lose too much at all with that swap as well. Mm, mm, yeah, with Fodiaco as well coming mm. onto the bench, so he's just going to add a lot of impact there and yeah, Queensland is going to be very, very hard to beat in my opinion. You know, they've got a great side at the moment and uh, I feel like after last game's performance, they're just going to get another leg and uh, for me, it's just their, their effort, you know, when times get tough, um, they were 12 men down and they just not just not lie down and uh, you know, that's one thing New South Wales need to go up there with, uh, a lot of energy, a lot of effort. Um, you know, Origin is all about effort, but it's going to be even harder when they come up against Queensland in Suncorp Stadium. Yeah, especially when Billy has said that they're going up a gear going into this game. Let's look over to the New South Wales side. Freddie's been forced to make some changes across mm. the park mm. due to some injury, but we see some faces returning to the Blues squad. You've played at rep footy with Moses before. Mm. He's one of the big names coming into mm. the side. So talk to me about how he's going to match up on the stage. Yeah, putting bias aside, uh, I did have Mitch come in as uh, number seven, uh, just because I feel like he's got a, he's got the full kit. Um, you know, he's got a great short kicking game, great long kicking game, and you know he's a very smart um, footballer. Um, he's very fast, um, and he's really good at steering the team across the park. He's very vocal, and he's up, that's what you want as your, as, your, as your half. So, uh, for me, yeah, I did. I uh, was lucky enough to play with him on the right edge for Lebanon, and uh, yeah, we had a really good time over there. All right, well, let's look to the forward pack for New South Wales: Cook, mm. Robson, Stefano. They all come in. Yeah. What do you like about these selections the most? Well, Cook's just an excitement machine. You know, coming out of dummy half, he's just electric. Uh, one thing uh, I know for him, uh, he just pulls something out of the hat, you know. Um, you know, Cookie's very threatening coming out, uh, coming out of dummy half and you look to those guys like Stefano coming in as well off the bench, he'll generate quick play the ball speed and that's when I think Cookie's going to really come alive, especially, you know, the second half, 50 to 20, between 50 and 80 minute mark, when fatigue's really sent to the game, that's when Cook's going to really come alive and uh, with Robson as well coming in, you know, I reckon Cookie will come up for a bit of a spell, Robson will come on and I feel like once Cookie comes back on, that's when he's going to be most dangerous. I feel like you just gave Billy everything he needs to know about the New South Wales team. Oh, <laughs> I'm sure he's got it all down covered. <laughs> no doubt, but right. yeah, we'll see how we go. Can you pick this one? You know what? Don't it's, want to. Uh, it's you know taking my bias hat off. Yep. It's going to be a big challenge for New South Wales. You know, a lot of changes, and um, you know, with Origin, you want to gel your team as you know quick as possible. You don't got that much time. Playing Queens up at Suncorp, it's going to be a big challenge. But has it been done before? It has been done. And what, what hell of a story it would be for the Blues if they can get it done. So, obviously, I'll be back in the Blues all the way, um, but the, the task is going to be massive. But, yeah, it's going to be a very exciting game. I can't wait for it. Tickets are selling extremely fast for this match. So if you want to head to it, it's nrl.com slash tickets. If you can't get to the game, set yourself up. Channel 9 kickoff is at 8.05 p.m. Wednesday night. It is the decider. Game 2 of Women's State of Origin. 2023. I'm Paul Shodka, joined by former Origin representative Chantel Stowers here to preview this game. And Shawnee, Queensland went back to their traditional roll up the sleeves type of performance to win game one. Would that be enough to claim the shield in this one? I think so. What they did really well was look after their one percenters. So they really got into the grind, they did everything really well. And when the game kind of went a little bit skewered, they came back to that, and that's what got them in front, I believe. Definitely the move to bring in Zahara Temero at halfback and shift Ali Brigginshaw to lock seemed to work well for the Maroons. How do you think this gives them an advantage? 
I think that Ali has the brilliance to pick her opportunities so well. Having a ball playing lock is an incredible game opener, but at the same time she has great vision and she knows when to take the hit ups that aren't going to almost have her out of the game as well. Yeah, and Julia Robinson out for this one, her place taken by debutante China Pilata. Queensland lose that combination with Sinead Shazolka. How do you think it ends up shaping out? Look, I'll be really interested to see how China goes. I think that she has been playing in a second row position. She's also kind of returned from an ACL injury, so being a debutante, stepping into a role such as Julia Robinson's is going to be a lot of pressure for her, but I think that she'll do a great job. Move on to New South Wales now. What can they do differently here to go north and come back victorious? You know what, I think they really need to settle into the game this time round. There were a lot of kicks that were off. They really didn't optimise their opportunities when they had them. So coming back to that really good flow, I think that having the two young halves, so I'm suspecting that they're going to have Talia Fuimoyono and they're matching up with Jessie Southwell, I think that that's going to provide really good flow. So Jessie Southwell, she takes over the reins in the number seven. Do you think she'll be able to handle that extra responsibility at such a young age? I do. Look, we've never had the opportunity of seeing a game two for Origin in the women's game, uh, but I think the taste of game one has put her in really good stead. She's got the opportunity to walk away, reset, see exactly what she wants to do differently and come back and do that. Two big ins for the Blues, which will help them, of course. Former Eels teammates, Tiana Penatani and Samaima Taufa, what will they bring to New South Wales? Well, Samaima, you cannot have an origin without her. She is an incredible stalwart. She is the one that gets you going forward. She lays the platform. So I do believe that they were missing that in the last game. You had Kizzy Apps come on and make an incredible impact, but Samaima is a full game, full minutes player. And Kezi Apps didn't start, as you mentioned then, in Game 1, but named to start in Game 2. Do you think they go with both Taufa and Apps, or again make that late switch, and then Apps comes on after maybe Taufa needs a rest? You know what? I don't know what's happening in camp at the moment. It's very interesting. There have been a lot of last-minute changes, and they keep their tongues tightly <laughs> closed, so I'm unsure what they're going to do. But I think that's a mima. We'll start. Kezi, I have a feeling she's going to start. Great stuff. Thanks, Chantel. Tickets are selling fast for this one. If you want to see the match live, head to nrl.com slash tickets. If you can't get to the game, you can still watch it on Channel 9, Foxtel, Sky New Zealand or KO. Kickoff is at 7.45pm Thursday night.